Hi guys, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. This is 15 facts you need to know about the European fire ant. 1. The Latin name for the European fire ant is Myrmica rubra. These ants are only distantly related to the true fire ant species, the red imported fire ant, found in southern USA and Latin America. 2. This is the even bigger fire ant. Manica rubida is a larger version of the European fire ant found in other countries across Europe, not found in the UK. This ant goes by two other names, the European large red ant and the pale arctic ant. These ants are commonly found in mountains, in polygene colonies, consisting of more than one queen. 3. Nests can reach up to 3 metres deep. The Manica rubida nest can reach an amazing 3 metres deep when a colony is fully established. 4. European fire ants can be a problem. This aggressive swarming ant can deliver a painful sting when disturbed. These ant stings rarely lead to an allergic reaction that requires medical treatment. These colonies can reach incredible sizes, making gardens, parks and some nature reserves unusable for normal activities because of repeated stings and very territorial displays. European fire ants also displace native ants and may impact agricultural crops. 5. These ants spread fast. Once a colony of European fire ants is established, the colonies use what's known as colony budding. This is where one queen, sometimes more, plus a group of workers, will leave to establish a new colony, usually within a metre of the original nest. This process means that these colonies can establish their territory across a wide area. This is very different to most species of ants, where different colonies of the same species will usually fight and not cooperate. 6. These ants are invasive in Japan and North America. Myrmica rubra, the European fire ant, or common red ant, is found all over Europe and is now invasive in some parts of North America and Japan. The reason this is shocking is because usually invasive species are tropical and they invade temperate regions, but in this case they are invading more tropical regions with a much higher temperature than where they originated. 7. These ants travel overseas. These ants have been introduced to other countries in pots and shipments of plant material. This replicates the process of colony budding that they naturally do in the wild. Because of this, European fire ants have very easily become invasive and taken over the territory for many native ants. 8. A colony can have up to 100 queens. This is known as polygy. This means that a colony can consist of multiple queens. The average colony contains around 2 to 10 queens, and more established colonies can contain between 15 to 20. Some record finds have been recorded where up to 100 queens were found in a colony. 9. They farm aphids for honeydew. These ants have a symbiotic relationship with aphids and protect them from predators. In exchange, the aphids give them what's known as honeydew, a sweet secretion they produce. Sometimes, the ants even let aphids into the nest. 10. Body disposal is random. This species does not have a dumping ground, like most other species. Usually, there will be a dedicated dumping ground where leftover food and remains of dead bodies are dumped. With Mamica rubra, the bodies are dumped in completely random places, up to 3 metres away from the nest. 11. Queens don't start alone. After nuptial flights happen, around late July to mid-August, lots of newly mated queens will land and rip off their wings to start their new colonies. The difference being that these queens will sometimes group together and when founding a colony, anywhere between two to three queens will start their own colony. 12. These queens leave the nest. With this species, when a colony is established, one or more queens will actively go and forage, just like the rest of the workers. This is a risky move when the colony only has one queen, and this is rare to see queens forage, but due to their rapid growth and aggressive behaviour, this does not really have an impact on the colonies. 13. This species can adapt to colder climates. 
Although these ants require a high humidity and like hot conditions, these ants can also survive in cooler climates. They do not seem to be impacted by colder temperatures. 14. They have a painful sting. These ants will sting people, pets and livestock. The bites hurt for an average for four to eight hours. It will result in swelling and sore or itchy raised areas. Some have described the pain as a tearing of the muscles. It is more like the pain of a wasp sting or stinging nettles. It does not hurt all the time and the pain comes in waves. The venom produces sweat at the stinging site. 15. Keeping fire ants is a lot of fun. It's not all bad. These ants may be invasive in many countries and be quite aggressive, but as ant keepers, it can be great fun seeing these ant colonies explode in numbers. These ants are not hard to keep, but require a little more care when handling. Gloves, tweezers, and a good anti-escape barrier is required. Overall, these ants may be aggressive and have a painful sting, but most people say it isn't even as bad as a nettle sting. I currently have loads of colonies. I recently caught some Myrmica rubra queens, which all have eggs. I also wanted to share the update of my other colonies with you guys. My Lassius Niger colony will definitely be ready soon. I'm still patiently waiting for the day when nuptial flights happen near me. Look at all this new brood. My Campanotus barbaricus queen has two workers ready to emerge soon. I'm looking forward to seeing her first workers. My Mesal Barbarous colony is doing great. The first media worker is very close to emerging into adulthood. The queen has been clutching onto her new worker, knowing that she'll be crucial to the colony's workforce. My Temnothorax ants now have loads of drones. These are males. I'm just wondering if the queen will produce any queen elates. These acorn ants will need a new setup soon. As you saw from the footage above, the Myrmica rubra queen I have had for a month now has nearly all of her workers emerged. I would love to hear what you guys thought about this video in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my shop at www.mylivingworldsants.co.uk. We have lots of new exciting stock and even have both Myrmica rubra and Manica rubida ants for sale if you like the ants in this video. The links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video.